Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of DIY or Die, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get easy 120 to 240 volt transformer, and all you need is two microwave ovens. That's it. So let's get started here. So, so I was asked a question on you know a simple, easy way to get 240 volts if you only have 120 volts where you live or um, you know, or where your shop is or whatever, if you want simple 240, this is by far the easiest way. Everybody likes using microwave oven transformers because, you know, it's the internet's famous electrical uh, hacking device, I guess you say. So, everybody uses one of these, but um, they always wind a secondary, whether they want 60 volts, 120, 240, it doesn't matter. They, they always seem to wind another secondary, but these are, I mean, right now, if you have two microwave ovens on hand, just take two of the primaries. They are fairly high amperage. They can handle probably 10 amps with these, pretty much. Um, of course, these are aluminum, but still, they get the job done. And all you have to do is use the concept of auto transformers, because most, uh, most people are going to think, well, you got you know, say 200 turns this coil, 200 turns this coil, it's just a one-to-one -one isolation transformer. But that's not true because if that was the case, I'll only get 120 volts out, but that's not the way I have this transformer set up. This right here is actually an auto transformer. It's a uh, boosting auto transformer. So essentially I have an over, this entire, you know, secondary is really just a, uh, primary winding in series with this primary winding and they have a mutual inductance so uh, what that does is you get even though your voltage applied for mains is only across this winding here uh, it continues uh, as long as you get your phasing right your your polarity so to speak right uh, your AC voltage will actually add or be in series of these two coils it's kind of like putting two 9 volt batteries together so that's that's about the simplest explanation I can think of. Right now, what we got is we have uh, we got an iron core, and most transformers. I'll draw a little one up here. Most transformers, you know, work like this, right? So you got your your load say here and you got your 120 here there's a ratio say like 2x here or whatever it doesn't matter uh, you'll get 120 here 240 here but the problem is you need to wind another coil I don't want to do that you guys can have fun doing that because you're just gonna get you know uh, you, you you can do it pretty easily I mean but the problem is you're gonna have less ampacity and your power density is going to be lower. So, with this, you have one coil. Really, well, it's technically two coils, but it's really one coil here. And this is where the beauty comes in. So, instead of a regular transformer where it's done here, you continue that coil. That is that secondary coil there. Okay, so across here, you got your 120 from here to here. But because it's all on the same core, you get 120 here, and then say on this tap, you get 140. You got 160, 180, 200, 240 right there. So you take your neutral here. That's your neutral. There's your hot. Neutral to hot is 120, of course. And then you take neutral, okay, and you put it down to here, and you get 240. Okay, so that is an auto transformer. Now it is important to note, uh, unlike most other transformers, this has no mains isolation. There's not two separate coils. It's one coil all the way through. So you will actually get 240 volts to ground here. That's that's kind of dangerous, um, but yeah, just uh, be aware of that. So. This is not isolated from ground or anything, so just be aware of that. Uh, but other than that, this is actually a pretty bulletproof way to get uh, 240 volts 
if need be. So I will show you now the uh, transformer action here working and we'll test those output leads right here. So uh, I'll be back here. Okay, so I think we got this hooked up. I won't have to probe those leads here. I just got them probed across these here. So uh, winding or the wiring might look a bit messy, but there's your this bottom one here. You got your white neutral, black is hot. And then going from that hot, I have branched across here to the top coil. And then across the top coil goes, uh, the other end of the top coil goes to the hot of there. And then this just goes back to neutral. So that's how that works. Uh, you could have it going straight up if you wanted. I just got the coils messed up. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Actually, I, that was the reason. I had those solder beads there, which, you know, not me. It came from factory like that, I guess. But uh, those would hit those solder beads. And so I had to put plywood spacers there, as you can see, on either side of the core to keep them spaced and safe. So that, that was my reasoning. But I digress. Let's, uh, let's turn this thing up and I'll, I will show you the voltage gain. So, as you know, 120 is that tap. Let's reset. Let's crank it up to halfway, right about there. So I got the one probe already on the neutral. Let's get it to the hot right there. And as you can see, 130 volts approximately. Now this is humming pretty good. I didn't uh, weld it, I just epoxied it. I paid the price for that I suppose, but uh, welding it would decrease the efficiency and increase the magnetizing current, so I didn't want to do that. Alright, let's turn up some more. Right about there, that's full voltage which means we should have mm -hmm. this is coming loose that's all this is a slightly janky way of probing this I would not recommend this what one whatsoever but uh, let's try it again across there There you go. 230 volts. If it would, there you go, 230 volts. And uh, any loads run off this 230 volt transformer. Uh, so say you got a 10 amp load here. You're going to be pulling 20 amps through the mains and 10 amps through 240 so keep that in mind um, you can have some fun with this you can blow up appliances if you want make sure you ballast it with one of those talk about that in another video and uh, yeah other than that ballast it and you can always put it through an isolation transformer if need be but uh, yeah pretty simple to make Two old microwave oven transformers, two primaries from them, one core, some plywood spacers cut out, and you got yourself basically a 120 to 240 boosting auto transformer. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I will see you in the next one.